This was Qatif in eastern Saudi Arabia in 2011. The Arab Spring was underway and the Shia community was protesting against discrimination and incitement against them. What happened in Qatif has led to several boys being sentenced to death, including teenager Mutaja Kouedis. The charges against him date back to this night in November 2011. The crowd was chanting death to Al Saud, a reference to the Saudi royal family. Among the protesters was his brother Ali. Hours later, Ali was shot and killed by security forces. Ten-year-old Murtaja marched in the funeral procession. This is one of the charges against him. He was arrested three years later as a 13-year-old. The UN and rights groups say he was tortured for a month spent over a year in solitary confinement and forced to sign a confession that led to his death sentence. He is now 18. It's uh, quite shocking uh, when you hear that these steps are being taken against a child, uh, especially when uh, it also appears that there has been no fair trial process uh, and the boy has been detained for a long period of time and not been able to present a defence. Despite the death penalty for minors being illegal under international law, Murtaja is not the first. In 2013, Sri Lankan teenager Rosanna Nafik was executed after a baby died in her care. She said she was tortured and forced to confess to the infant's murder. And in October last year, the UN pleaded with Saudi Arabia not to execute six boys who were jailed for their involvement in anti-government protests in 2011 and 2012 when they were teenagers. But six weeks ago, Mushtaba al swaykat Salman Karish and Abdul Karim al hawaj were beheaded alongside 34 others, mostly Shia men. I have recorded many cases uh, of that, including the cases of the seven uh, mostly young men who were executed in Asir in 2013 and many of them were, were did not kill anyone and they were when they were detained they were minors. Khatif, where it all began, has also paid a high price. Violence has escalated in recent years. The government says it is redeveloping the 400-year-old town, but it's the fighting and weapons that have caused most of the demolition. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.